for crowded north-south service. Um, so while we're seeing some new things come on board, there is a bit of a fear that we're going to continue to be jammed uh, in terms of being able to get to and from work. Um, and then finally, some, some positive comments. Uh, some, some have commented on the fact that the trains are cleaner. Um, that's great to see. And, um, and that uh, there's, a, there, there's um, a lot of people who really like the new trains as well. Okay, thank you very much for that flavor. So let's go over to microphone number one. I think there are a lot of people lined up at one, but not too many at two. So, uh, you, you know, you may, we'll, 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 we'll see if we can even up a little bit here as we go. Over to you, sir. Uh, I was just going to say, Andy, thanks for what you're doing. I support you. I think you're doing a good job. Uh, first, I have some suggestions for improvement. Uh, firstly, the Jane and the Dufferin subway lines, the bus, bus routes are really at their capacity, and I feel like those line, those routes basically should have subways. I don't know if that's, some, that's in your future plans or something like that, but I think that is something worth investigating because it's, a, it, it's perfect for subways. Jane and um, Dufferin, and also bikes in the TTC as well. TTC should have that option. I think Karen Stins brought that up when they were having this whole issue about the big C bike thing, and I think a partnership would be great because it's ridiculous to have to just travel 10 minutes and have to be waiting 30 minutes for a bus to arrive. That's ridiculous. I'm always late for work because of that. So I started biking a whole lot to work because, and it's very efficient. I bike from Maine to all the way to Gerard in Parliament and it takes me 30 minutes from, um, from uh, actually Castle Frank to Gerard in Parliament. It, it takes me 20 minutes. How, that, how crazy is that? If they had um, bikes at the subway, I could say, hey, maybe there could be a user fee that I could pay or something like that just to bike that short distance and leave it off at some area or whatever where you guys can pick it up. And also, strollers on the subway, on the, um, on the buses and streetcars are a big problem because a lot of it is taking up a lot of room and it's causing a lot more overcrowding than it needs to. Okay. And, and I'll, I actually have a few yeah. more um, suggestions okay, as quickly, well quickly, quickly. Uh, about uh, user fees and complementary services such as vending machines, cell phone services in the subways. Um, whether you want to charge a fee or user fee for that is up to you, but I think those things would be great. And I also think that you guys should mend the links that you Men, men the relationship with Metrolinx because you guys are at capacity and you really need to be able to connect to different areas of the city and I think a partnership with a 50-50 a, a, a partnership with Metrolinx would work, would work out great for customers and especially where fees are concerned to okay. keep that cap on fees. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, lots of great content packed into a very short statement and I'm sure Andy will want to address uh, future subway and transit expansion plans and, uh, and of course the Metrolinx relationship. So uh, I think uh, we'll go